on on the computer. The Balboa translation, is that it? Yeah. No. Well, yeah, either way. Yeah. Just that plug plug in the word hippias for word search. Damn it. I looked Save it up and... Save myself a look and... <laughs> right? Casted Pierre and... Is that right, David? Well, you found That's what I do now. Yeah, I found computer, it in the TLG. That was the easiest something. way. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, hey, I just thought of this. I'm going to go buy it right now. I can do it. I bought yes. two things this morning. Wow. I bought a 15, yeah, a 30 inch soft, a, lot and I'll do it you're now a American. steamer for my vegetables. Amazon? Yep. Sorry. One out of every two dollars now going through Amazon. Mm, I'm sorry, and I'm, I apologize. What? Uh, yeah. um, well, I should. One out of every two online dollars now going through Amazon. And PayPal has gone up. Yeah. Went from three percent to six percent. Uh, they doubled their rate. You know, it's, I'm so glad to hear that because they're, they're still hurting for cash. They they really deserve it, don't they? <laughs> or not? Finally, they get a break. <laughs> Is this the one? Whereas both the hippies and the phages yep. concern the beauty, blah, 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 blah. Oh, good. I don't have to. You don't want that? Woo! Another reference you, you library came to, came to hand. Do you still want it? Uh, we'll find it out in a moment. All right, good. I don't have to look it up. That was quite good. Oh, that might be there still. So. See if you can. <coughs> I don't know. See if you can. Shouldn't he read it aloud? <laughs> hey, miser. Sure. It's quite a miser. See? <laughs> yeah. Do share. Well, I'm going to do the whole paragraph then. Of course. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I did your one. From poverty to plenty, huh? Here we go. Because <laughs> if there's a, a lead in, I don't want to miss it. Let's see. That is what I have to say about that subject. Okay, whatever you said, right? Keep it in your mind. If there are various other things which we define of which forms do not exist, forms, such as artificial objects, parts of things, and evil things, there is no cause for astonishment here, for it is by virtue of the fact that we have within us reason principles of all natural entities and Logos. good things, Go ahead. that we know, because we have those, that we know also such things as comprise, qua parts, the totality of whole entities, or imitate nature, or arise as by byproducts of good things. Mm. According um, to the mode in which each of these things exists, so they are knowable and definable to us, and we discor discourse about them on the basis of the definitively established reason principles within us. So there, so there need be no occasion for astonishment in all this. The former point rather should be noted, and it's by reason of this that Socrates in his conversations always leads it, each discussion towards the question, what is X? Right. Since he is anxious to study the reason principles in the soul Logos. in his search for the form of beauty, in virtue of which all beautiful phenomena are beautiful, that is, the reason principle of beautiful things pre-existing in the soul. The logos of all beautiful things pre-existing in the soul. And knowledge itself, which is truly existent in souls, not the intellectual, nor yet the intelligible, for it is not possible for his interlocutors to be raised to that essence, but on such occasions as he is seeking intelligible beauty, he proceeds by inspiration rather than by midwifery or testing. Hmm. For this reason it is not astonishing that whereas both the Hippias and the Phaedrus concern the subject of beauty, the former, the hippias, seeks the essential beauty in souls, whereas the latter seeks intellectual beauty, from which all beautiful things derive their beauty. For the former is, after all, a dialogue of testing, and dialectical is. procedures are proper to those who concern themselves with forms and souls. That is, testings and refutations and definitions and demonstrations and divisions uh, synthetic and analytic procedures. That's the end of the paragraph. So it looks like, he, I mean, I just want to say, from reading this, it looks like Proclus is saying that the dialectic is being used in the Hippias. That's true, but the, the word, how important is the word testing? Well, very important. Dialogue of testing. Uh, it's a dialogue of testing. So we could distinguish between yeah. kinds of dialectic. Right, right. And at yeah. another point, he talks about the fact that testing precedes those four stages. Okay. 
proper. Dialogue. Well, because um, there's no, you can't do the four without having gone through a, a testing, which is really to explore any question in the terms of what is X, what is beauty, what is wealth, etc. You have to be familiar with that kind of thinking before you can use those four stages. Right. And, uh, so then uh, it's good for us to focus on dialogues like Gorgias and Protagoras and right. Hippias. Yes. Right. So we can get acclimated. But then he works through inspiration. Did you want, did you want to... Uh, no, I think you yeah, only need to pursue, pursue the logos in the... Where was that? Where was that? Tina, do you have a um, On marker? page 340 of PCOPP. Marker? 987. She's work? No. Okay. Um, Let me go again. She's flapping darker. Good boat hat. Okay. I probably have some in my car. But then he... Sure that's not the transmission? But then he says he proceeds by inspiration yeah. to explore the logos of the beauty of the soul. Sure. Sure. What does that mean to you? Well, I don't know, except I guess he just wings it. No, no. <laughs> he is seeking intelligible beauty. He just beauty. wings. Right. Yeah. Intelligible <laughs> beauty is different. Oh, flies up there. Here, you want to oh, we're oh. on a good one already. <laughs> that's uh, yes. book five. Uh, really that's, five. That's book five. Book five. <laughs> Yes, book five. I could give you the exact school. page number. Are you no, ready? No, the uh, Stephanus number. I can give you the seven. Stephanus too, but nine, nine, eight, nine, seven. nine what? Nine eight seven. Eight seven. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Fasten your seatbelts. Get your caffeine in order. <laughs> Is it, I think that cap coffee's heavy. What coffee like these days? What? It's yeah. uh kind of like it was in your days. Mm. I don't remember. It's been like a year and a half. <laughs> What's your commentary on that? I've been thinking about coffee is like. Yeah, I don't know what it was like. I don't do it all the time. It was light. <coughs> Today it's <coughs> very, very, very. Mm, very. What kind of coffee is it? Um, yeah. It's Guatemalan. Organic. It's got a lot of body, full body. You learned how to do that. Tastes good. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I just it's I, like a I meal grinded it sure. this morning, so yeah. maybe that helped too. That does, yeah. The powers and the vision. Nine eighty-seven, you said. Yes, it's just a bonus. Look at it. Here's an assumption. Right? Right. That is, you can apply these four categories to the arc serving pictures. Okay. Wow. Shake your head. Right. Keeping in mind that the arc serving pictures are states of mind, and the idea of any statement dealing with self, logos, Justice, etc., are states of mind. Mm. Right. Self logos. Mm. So, um, mm. now if you're. Um, 987. are the ox herding pictures. Can you um, consider this many under one aspect? Right? Can you find the, the common theme among all of them? Like, how do you know they're 
maybe there's one missing, then it's right, you gotta stick it in there. Or it's a mess. Right? So these have to be significant, each one, right? But you have to be able to find in the many the one. That one unity. Agree? Yeah. Um, now, that takes, that's, that's playful. Um, by the way, that means now you have to be able to see what each of these is in themselves, don't you? And you then have to See, their position is justified. Don't you? No. Essentially, they have to be true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, and... Um, no, their position. And in the same way, you have to see oh. that the order yeah. the exist order. in the soul. Mm -hmm. And in reality. Mm -hmm. Existence. Right? Agree? Mm -hmm. Right. And um and uh what you then have to see is that they form a natural hierarchy, don't you? Mm -hmm. Don't you? Yeah. yeah. Haven't yet, though. Yes. What? Tonight. Old. Haven't yet, though. Oh, oh, oh. That's mm. a response. Well, because you're saying, I mean, I'd love to see that. Are we going to do that on Friday night? Well, no, no. Well, but you see, yeah, I'm well, just doing this to. I know he is. Honey. Try to bring a, a little. See, Proclus, this section on Proclus is a mess. Mm -hmm. If you if you take time out to read it, you'll see. Uh, I mean, if a student gave you a paper on these four topics and you needed an explanation of it, and you had to grade him or her, right? You send the paper back and say, hey, yeah. "Come on, this is a piece of shit." You know, that's all. Just more more sitting. Mm. Right, that's all. Oh, if you're a grading Proclus. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, grading Proclus. It's, 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 it's a mess. Is, is, uh, it, is it just the problem of the translator, or is it, or is it the... No, it's, it's all through. Well, uh, the, first, the first eight pages, and he reproduces the same idea 20 pages later. But can't you put them together. Try it. Don't believe me. Is this 20 pages later you're talking about testing? Because yeah. you said he goes back to the, to the notion of testing. I noticed there there's yeah. not much. Yeah. And so, see, before you can do any of these, it presupposes that each one of these can be asked, what is X? Mm -hmm. Where X can be any of these. So therefore, you need experience going through that, so you so you know what you're dealing with. Hmm. Is X uh, justice logos? Yeah, meaning? all that. Yeah. Yeah. No, if you can do that with the archery pictures, you can obviously do it. Players. Here, I noticed you didn't include synthesis. Well. See, there's only one place he uses the idea of synthesis in the quote that you have, that you just read. And that's another problem. It, seem, it yeah. seems central to everything you're saying here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to find the one in the many. Yeah. But he doesn't distinguish <laughs> the final term analysis and synthesis. 
He addresses it though. By I mean, it's, it's major, but that's another example of what he's doing. His failure. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not here. I'm well, not... I could add more, but add more. no, please do. No, let's leave it there for a moment. No. <laughs> Just I have a question about when you say um, asking what is X, where X could be anything. Do you mean that in the ox herding pictures, there's like an ox herding picture for the ex exploration of any ideas such as what is beauty? The ideas are states of mind. Sure. Right? Yes. So therefore they correspond to any one of these. Okay. The ideas are so Either singular okay, or so together. If you ask, for example, what is logos? Like, like is it possible that there are a set of ideas called the virtues. Mm. Yes. Hey, uh, what is it that runs through them all? Mm. Uh, before you do that, should you not first know what each one is? Yes. Oh. And then, if you know what each one is, then I suspect what you want to do uh, uh, in knowing what each one is, you should be able to then. Uh, so he, the, word, the words, these words, demonstration, definition, uh, et cetera, may be the wrong words yeah. mm -hmm. be, because they don't reflect what, what is going on in their category. Yep. So therefore it's likely that other Greek words would be more common, better to be used in order to signify these four than the terms that are commonly used. Mm. Oh. Would those be the would do, or look in maybe how they're com well the, what they are in the ion is what I'm thinking. Yeah, okay. Those words are in the ion. He talks about demonstration. Or like uh, so for division, would that be diuresis? Diuresis? Well, now you see um, his idea of division. Uh, it's not what we call division, because for him, it's being able to consider what has already been said in definition and demonstration and to see those processes in the soul. Well, okay, uh, excuse me, that's not quite using the word in, in the way in which we use them. Right? Uh, what? Like, uh, how many times does two to be, go into four? That's supposed to be the word division. Well, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's a division between heaven and earth, or maybe ideas in the everyday world. Well, he did say we had but the logos doesn't. for parts and holes in our soul. So look so here, it's worthwhile division. just taking a, a miserable day and trying to figure it out yourself. Probably. Yeah. A miserable, a miserable day. day. <laughs> well, it will be. You'll find it. <laughs> Get a cup of coffee. You're so funny. <laughs> You'll find it. Hey. It's, yeah, uh, it's some work. Maybe it would here, be better to get the Here, give me your checks. I'll give you a couple of examples. Here, I'll give you a couple of examples. What is it? <clears throat> now notice, this is sad. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
Oh. Yeah, it's yummy. No wonder I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, okay, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Got flowers. Here we go. Hmm. Move the table back a bit. Jeff, yeah, move it this way. Okay. <laughs> that funny, huh? From whence definitions derive. Is that a good place? Yeah. Sure. What, what, what passage? Uh, I'm on page, this is 980, Stephanus number, page 334. 980? Bottom page. And whence will definitions derive? For a definition is constructed by virtue of the logos in the soul. By, okay. okay. By virtue of the logos. It is the common element in particulars that we define. Is the common element. Having first within ourselves the form not the image present in them. If then definition is the beginning of demonstration, mm -hmm. but he left it. Isn't that a good understanding of it? No. What's common? Yeah. He hasn't finished explaining what it is. Well, he, that's why we're going to the next category. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? If then, definition is the beginning of demonstration. There must be some other definition prior to this of the many forms and truly existent logos in souls. For since the form of justice exists in each soul, so we have said it is plain that instances of justice in us are manifold, but have something in common which circumstance enables each soul through being acquainted with the logos of justice within itself to see equally that present in all others. Doesn't sound like a sentence to me, but... <laughs> if it possesses some common element, it is this common element that we define by calling it what it is. Okay. We already knew what it was because it was in our soul he, to begin now, with. Is he in demonstration or de definition? But uh, I'll go on. Well, the common element would be justice, right, Pierre? Yeah. Wouldn't it be justice in all of the various instances? The justice is in the soul, and so we understand all the yeah. various instances of justice. Is or, that definition or demonstration? Well, I think that's a, that's fair. <laughs> If it possesses some co common element, it is this common element that we define by calling it what it is. And this is the beginning of demonstration. It's the beginning of it, so we know it's not yet it. What's <laughs> definition? It's not materialized, as it were. It's not mortal. It's not a mortal entity inherent in the particulars. It's demon in demonstration and definitions, the particular must be subordinate to the universal. That's pretty good. Now we know what he's talking about. Definitions of, of common features in particular do not take in the particulars as a whole. Now, for instance, it's the whole of Socrates comprehended by the definition of rational mortal animal. <laughs> And he goes on to talking about 
whether or not Socrates is an animal or whether he's rational, and that's supposed to. Uh, <laughs> this is a conclusion of his analysis. If we are then to discover the definition which will serve as the beginning of a demonstration, the definition must be of an entity of such a sort as to comprehend everything more particular than itself. He was going to explain what okay. demonstration is, wasn't it? I missed the... But yeah. he's telling us that this, there's something that precedes us. Did you have what demonstration is yet then? No, no. We have so, but, but rather than... But we could take that as he's leaving us homework to do. Right? I, but that's... That's just the but whole thing. That's why I say you have to. It takes homework to pull this together. Yeah, like, uh, like examples of a of a demonstration in, in a Platonic text, starting with a definition. Well, so that's why a lot of times he quotes uh, uh, the Phaedrus, right? He quotes the Republic. You're supposed to then go back to where he's talking about, and make sure that the point he's being made is demonstrated in that example from these dialogues. But he doesn't cover it. He just says, "Go look." Seems like he'd want to say, "Like see the Mino." That's like um, the very beginning, like the first ten pages of the Mino. Socrates is like, "Hey, you got to find the one thing that's in them all." You know, like keeps yeah, coming right. back to find the one form, the that's one, the one self-same. The, the self -same hunt for thing. a definition, right? Yeah. He wants to get Mino to do that. Okay, here, uh, the next and one. He's okay. actually giving an, an example of trying to do it. For definition is more august and sovereign than demonstration, and division in turn more than uh, division. What? Let's do this again. Why? <laughs> for more than, uh, for more than the sciences of, of definition and demonstration. Uh, would this science be totally without substance? If souls do not possess uh, the locos, for definition is more august than sovereign art than demonstration, and division in turn more than definition, and division gives to definition its first principles, but not vice versa. And since demonstration does not permit itself to fool about with derived concepts, definition and division are certainly not going to take as their subject matter such objects. The objects yet are more worthless. We will then, by abolishing the whole of dialectic, we don't admit the existence of uh, the logos and souls, for the ability to discuss such things will remain always the same. And, and it employs the same. These methods since analysis blow. Well, can I see that all? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so there's a hierarchy to division, definition, and demonstration in that order. Division being the highest. I hope so. Oh, and derive concepts. At one point, Whatever definition comes before demonstration, and another point, demonstration comes before yeah. definition. I don't yeah. think so. You've got to no. clarify that. See, comes what, what you can do, rather than show that, that is to go back to the oxiding pictures mm -hmm. and see if you can make sense of them. By any comparative analysis you want to make, well, well, the, they will. Sh that that, that set will likely to match definition, demonstration, division, analysis. Okay. With, within each? Within each? Or, or and also across each? All. Well, when you said, and they exist... All, meaning both? And that they exist in the soul and in reality, mm -hmm. for instance. That's what he's saying, that you have to, in definition, find in... The, self, the the logos, the thing which you're trying to define, so it already exists in the soul. Yeah. Yeah, so, what, but what? But while you were doing that, and which one was? Which one was? That? Is that analysis or is that demonstration or was that? Is that just an extension of definition? Well, given what he says, then you have to decide what phrase you're going to use to explain it. Yeah. Yeah. 
So that's why I did it this way. Okay. I do that. I take it out of the ideas. Since what he means by ideas is that matches states of mind and the oxidating virtues. Mm -hmm. So that's one possible way of going. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so with the oxidating pictures concern enlightenment, right? Yes. Um, so could we say then that... And he's uh, making the same point in Prokhorst. Prokhorst is making the same point. Yeah, thing. right. So then that sounds like a positive. But um, how about the hippias? So then could we say that whatever Socrates is taking hippias through is like stages of enlightenment? No, testing. Okay, stages of testing then. Yeah. I mean, there, there's a necessity to where hippias is in relation to every argument, right? Like the necessity of each of these oxidating pictures. Yeah, but you see, Hippias, the order. Hippias cannot cannot get. He can't appreciate the question. Socrates opens it up, but he, you know, the ending is, oh well, you say what you think, I say what I think, and <laughs> who's to say who, which is better? And the uh, same old crap. So he hasn't even gotten to the Oxford. Right. So. It's an exploration of how you should deal with someone like that, knowing you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. but we could also say... Because how many dialogues of failures? You know, it's a failure. <coughs> it's only if he takes the challenge in the end of the Mino that there's a possibility of his own growth. Okay. But we could look at we could look at the approaches that Socrates makes with Hippias and possibly line them up with an Oxfordy picture. Right. That's right. Without assuming that his participant is going through something significant. Right. Right. <coughs> yeah, I was while you were going through that, it was coming into my mind, hey, this has got to be in the Hippias too. I mean yeah. It was beautiful what you did. So, yeah. uh, like, just the idea of stages. Like Agathon <clears throat> and the symposium, he can only go so far and he quits, which is why Socrates introduces Diotima to continue the dialogue. Right? That is to say, he reached, I, I can't go any further. Okay, he knows that better than Hippias. Right? He can see his ignorance and he faces faces his own ignorance and says, okay, I, I've had enough, I don't know what to do. So he's a step above him. Mm -hmm. And therefore Socrates has a right to introduce him to the ideas which he's ignorant of. Hmm. Without taking him through a dialect. So my teacher. So was that a test that he did with Agathon? Sure. And you can take that and and you can see what he's doing if you use these if you make sure of his, come up with your own categories of how we understand these four ideas, you'll roughly agree, but a couple of points you may, you may disagree, but it won't matter. You can then take a look and see whether you can use them in understanding the dialogue called the Symposium and Socrates' speech or Diotima. Okay, how about it? Would the spe Diotima speech be a demonstration? Mm -hmm. is, is that a demonstration? No, see, I don't use the word, I don't use any of these terms because I don't see that way he's describing them in his commentary on the Parmenides that it matches the word demonstration. So, have you found a set of four that work better for you? <laughs> no, I, I just uh, put them up this way. So, to, what to name them yeah. so that it would better match it? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I haven't, but uh, probably be fun to do. Well, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm puzzled. So, I. Uh, I'm reminded of the word epidaxis in Greek. Yeah. That's that. If someone said, "What Greek word lies behind demonstration?" I'd say it's epidaxis, mm -hmm. right? And epidaxis means to show. Mm -hmm. 
right? to reveal something or to give a speech, to do, to do something that other people can look at. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering what's the big mystery here? Like, uh, okay, you don't call, you aren't going to use the word demonstration. Well, see. What, what are you going to call, see, what, uh, then what? See, that definition that, that you just offered mm -hmm. could apply to the others as well. To show. Yeah. And I generally think of it in terms of a speech, right? Like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Gorgias. Gorgias says, you know, or no, some, one of the guys at Gorgias' house says, oh, yeah, come on in, Socrates. And if you like, you know, so Gorgias just gave one. He'll ask him, and he'll give you an epidaxis. Mm -hmm. And Socrates is like, no, well, you know, okay, maybe on some other occasion, but could you ask him whether or not he'd like to have a talk with us or have a discussion instead? Mm -hmm. So you can see a very clear distinction between what Socrates wants to do in terms of asking questions and getting answers and listening to a speech by Gorgias. So, so then now I can say, given what I've said, that a demonstration or epidexis is different than a definition. Definition, you get that in one sentence. It's not a speech. Right. See, um, look, uh, is this this may be, you may want to correct this if you want, look, but uh, is, this a, is this a definition when you have a set of ideas, let's call these ideas, and the goal is to try to show among the many one idea? Oh, yeah. Would you call that a definition? Division. Interesting way of mm. defining. That's more no, like, that's more like not necessarily. Know. No. Yeah. Yeah. See. <laughs> I call it Finding enlightenment or something, right? He calls yeah. it division. Synthesis. Rational yeah. procedure. Common syn synthesis. Commonness. Uh, yeah. That uh, that but, that that brings about a beneficial result. Yeah, but knowledge. Uh, see, what do you have to do? You have to look at these pictures, the oxidizing pictures, and say to yourself, what is it that is common to all of them? Can you express that in an idea such that it will be able to represent, in principle, all of these different eight pictures of enlightenment? Now, if that's what he means by definition, I don't recognize that as a way of describing definition or using the word definition since it often means just taking any one of these and defining each one of them. Or if you have the idea and you want to define it, then you may then go backwards. And see, there's a section in Proclus where that's what he says, and uh, division is. It's the, it's the opposite. It's the converse of the of definition. <coughs> All right? Only it's happening in the soul. So, um, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't get that. Could you repeat it? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. okay. We agree. We talked about how to seek some unity in these eight stages and to express that in one word or one idea. By the way, now that you have the one idea, can you use that one idea and infer from it all of the age? Mm. Sounds reasonable. Yeah, that's different. Yes. That's why he calls the one the converse of the other. And therefore he's talking about going from definition to division. <coughs> but <coughs> where is the it's not clear that, that that's the usual word of division in terms of the way we're, we're the way we are explaining it. Division so dia, that's why I said. Uh, dia what? Dia, dia if you go through it yourself, you may find a better way of expressing it. But I don't find any relationship between these terms and what is being described. Like, uh, 
like when he gets to division, essentially one of the ideas he has to describe division is that these take place in the soul. Well, um, by the way, uh, apart from trying to figure out what that would be doing, what you would be doing simply, simply by talking about the same things, whatever we're talking about, the same things are in the soul, like what would you be doing? It's not at all clear. He says here that for divisions do nothing other than distinguish the many from the one. Yeah, right? Okay. Right? In, so, in one of those, uh, so, what do you call it? Wait a minute, you see, that could go both ways. Right. So therefore it's not adequate. What does that mean, it could go both ways? But she just read it. Look. So read it. Oh, for divisions do nothing other than distinguish the many from the one. That's right. Mm -hmm. You can distinguish the many from the one, or the one from the many, mm -hmm. and you're still doing the same thing. Are you not? Okay. It's, uh, so therefore it's an inadequate definition. Well, actually it goes oh, on a little oh, bit. Oh, and, oh, oh. And right? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. Okay. All right. Like this will, see, I'm, 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 in my mind, I'm supporting it, right? Like he puts division ahead of definition and demonstration. Okay. So it's a hierarchy. And I'm thinking, hey, you know, Gospel of Thomas, when did the one become two? Um, what else? Uh, the whole idea of there being a titanomachy or war between the gods is a mythological approach to explain how the one became many, according to Proclus, right? Looks pretty lofty, nice stuff. And I would say, hey, you gotta have division, you gotta have that distinction between one and two if you wanna get into defining anything at all whatsoever. Well, this is more hierarchical in terms of like whole and parts. Okay, I don't know. Go ahead. That, that and helps. species and genre. <clears throat> okay, okay. and is that therefore. Is different than what you were saying? Yeah, go ahead. No. no. Okay. Whole and part, species and genre. Um, what do you what do you think of that? Do you see a difference? Well, um, just that it's it's. Um, uh, well, I don't I didn't understand what you were saying with the mytho mythological and one and two. Oh, I, I was just saying that I like it, and I think <laughs> it's uh, his suggestion that these three are in a hierarchy is worthy of exploring further and. Okay, well, that this is hierarchical stuff too. Mm -hmm, okay. And I and so I like that. I I'm, that I'm not against hierarchies. Getting at that idea. <laughs> yeah. We should. Um, should I just read the rest of the sentence? Please. Okay. For furthermore, I'm going to ask you to explain it. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> good. In for an inch, in for a mile, baby. <laughs> Please continue your excitement. <laughs> I'll try. Furthermore, following on these, the science of division will become a mere name. Oh. Go slow. Okay. For divisions do nothing other than distinguish. Well, you know, maybe I'm <laughs> maybe I'm going in the wrong direction here because just read it, you, you'll find it. Okay. But divisions do nothing other than distinguish the many from the one. Hold it. How many does that fit? All of them. Go ahead. And separate off those things pre-existing in a unified manner in the whole into their proper differentia, not adding the differentia from without, but viewing them as being within, in the genre themselves, dividing off the species from one could, another. Could you redo the part after the one and the many distinction? Sorry, I, I just kind of... Yeah, it gets a little weird. Go ahead. Um, it's the second point he makes, right? Do nothing other than distinguish the many from the one, and separate off those things pre-existing in a unified manner in the whole into their proper differentia. Not adding the differentia from without, but viewing them as being within in the genre themselves, 
dividing off the species from one another. Okay, so species and genera, the form of beauty from all the various beautiful things in the world, division, and you're saying, hey, that could apply to definition too. Mm -hmm. Or how's that different from demonstration? That's right. Or analysis? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so he has he hasn't divided after all. Or defined. Or do you think that Proclus I I don't even think that the way you understand that can be applied. The way to say whether or not if he's saying that when you do get that one idea as a whole in unity, it contains within itself all the differentia of the priors. But he said, within itself. Within itself. You yeah. don't think that that is true, or? No, no. If we do, it, let us assume we understand on one level what that what is being said. Now, take your example that you gave of different kinds of beauty. Yes. Well, does that mean that you should be able to hold on to what makes each one of those different, their differentia? and be able to maintain all that series of differentia within the idea of the whole of which then it was able to represent the many? Oh yeah? Well, no, I'd have, to, I'd have to go back to the idea of difference or something. That's right. But, but their commonness no, 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 is what he's... But remember now, I think he's saying you have to keep, you have to collect yeah. as it were all the differentia and, and be able to see it in the one whole. He actually addresses this right next. Well, I agree. Excellent. See, see, what we're doing now is we're trying to understand that one sentence. Sure. Which is why it's so simple. Could we hear? Could, what are you now doing? Could we hear it again? Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. Again. Oh, again. Yeah. Drum roll, my. We're going to analyze it. And then roll into the. Is next it nine eighty? What? Nine eighty two. Go ahead. Um. Because he goes on to. No, no, no. Okay. So, for divisions do nothing other than distinguish the many from the one. Right. And separate what, off... Right. What? Do okay. again? For divisions do nothing other than distinguish the many from the one. Okay. The many mm -hmm. from the one. Yeah. That could be the same as, de as definition. Mm-hmm. That one right. Okay, now let's see what, is, what, what is entailed in that. Go ahead. Um, and separate off those things pre-existing in a unified manner in the whole into their proper differentia. Not adding the differentia from without, mm -hmm. but viewing them as being within, in the genre themselves, dividing off the species from one another. Okay, do it. Dividing okay. off the species from one another. Is genre more general? And species subdivision? Yes, that's right. Okay. General means classes. Okay. Right. Well, dividing off the species from one another. Mm -hmm. What? So what do you do with the differentia? For you, um, you separate off those things pre-existing in a unified manner in the whole into their proper differentia. Not adding the differentia from without, but viewing them as being within in the genre themselves, dividing off the species from one another. The, the genera do, does the dividing. Is, is that how definition or division? Mm -hmm. This division. is division. And he had said earlier that demonstration was using the highest level of genre, going to that level. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold it. Just, okay. Yeah. Dividing the species off. Can I see it? Mm -hmm. So you would have to go into the pen, see how that is different than each of the other prior pre existing stages. And in <coughs> and inherent in each of those stages. I, I understood was in the tenth. Is is that is that what he's saying? I may, you know. 
It, is, it could be a translation issue. I'm not sure what you're saying, Regina, but just reading this, separate off those things pre-existing in a unified manner in the whole into their proper differentiae, not adding the differentiae from without, but viewing them as being within, in the genera themselves. Yeah, in the genera themselves. Dividing off the species from one another, so they, the differentiae, are the dividing, are the the agents of dividing off the species from one another. Yeah. It's not clear. No. Uh, it isn't. Uh, I mean, if we just stick with that, it's not no, clear. No, if we stick with it. Um, Unless he's saying that the or the ge or the generas are doing the no, dividing. No, no. See, uh, go further because mm -hmm. then he's going to talk about. To? It. Yeah, I'll read it. Could it be that the well, I so was trying it, to is it enough to say you have to take the text and you have to stay and you have to puzzle? Right. Because it is not simple, but not just simple, it's not clear. No, but... That he doesn't spend enough time on each one to define it so that you can bring it together in some kind of unity in the four stages, nor show why they must follow it sequentially. He doesn't do that. No, because what I what I'm doing is I'm adding to it from external. I'm make trying to make sense because mm -hmm. if he says genre, that to me would be Please. the common theme. But don't make it, don't make sense of it, unless you can use his language to make sense of it. Otherwise, you'll be able to take that and and appreciate it yourself in your terms, but that won't be his. Genre means. That's important. We don't want to save him, right? No. no. I don't genre want to save him. is. Um, <laughs> I want to save him. Well, I was thinking that genre would be the co commonness between all those stages, and the species would be each of the stages. No. Go ahead, mm -hmm. Julie. Mm -hmm. If that's mm -hmm. how he's using genre. Yeah. See, so I'm not rejecting what you're saying. Yeah. It's just that you're going to have to get back into it and try to make sense of it and uh, good luck. Right, yeah. So I don't think I don't think so. What? <laughs> well Pierre said read on, let's see. Yeah. Um, where then would be the task of this science? Okay, here we go. If really existent forms were not present in us. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now he's gonna call that division. In us. Go ahead. For to identify its business as being with these derived concepts is the approach of men who have no awareness whatever of its power. So knock that out. <laughs> Could you do that again? For to identify its business as being with these derived concepts is, that is the approach of men who have no awareness whatever of its power. Yes. Not, not those concepts of thinness, but derived concepts. Mm -hmm. Not the concepts within us, but the derived concepts. Yeah, yeah. So That's like a pathologos. Re rejecting that. For it is proper to a division based on opinion to divide derived concepts. Yeah, like when the gun, gun nuts try to defend their ideas. <clears throat> but to intellectual and scientific division to study the really existent differentiae of the reason principles in the soul to unfold their unified potencies and to see the more particular arising out of the more general. Do it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For it is proper to a division based on opinion to divide derived concepts. Yeah. Should you pay attention to what he says in terms of opinion? Yes. Okay. Well, should we not? No, no, no. That's one of the issues in reading him. <laughs> Because he often says what it is not, okay, mm -hmm. again and again. So you just have to put them in a different box and What's forget left? it until you finish it. Then take a look at the box, but it's not going to help you understand positively. Go ahead. Uh, for it is proper to a division based on opinion to divide derived concepts, but assuming proper to intellectual and scientific division to study the really existent, really existent differentiae of the reason principles in the soul, to unfold their unified potencies, and to see the more particular arising out of the more general. 
See, even that language is not appropriate. Because when, when in, it, I think that's a translation problem because mm. it is not useful to use Aristotelian terms in a Platonic analysis. Yeah. So, uh, unfold their unified potencies. That's probably dunamis. Right? Yeah, and therefore it's likely to be mis mistranslated. Yeah. 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 So if, if he put in there, oh, potencies, pot pot potencies. potencies. Oh, po like potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if he translated it to unfold their unified powers, that you'd better. like it better, or unified functions. That's right. Saw that. And to see the more particularizing on the more general, far more than, far more than than the sciences of definition and demonstration would this science be totally without substance. If souls do not possess really existent reason principles, for definition is a more august and sovereign art than demonstration, and division in turn than definition. <coughs> I could probably do a search on those terms, plus the testing term. Somebody else? I think you're right about sure. the deuresis, by the way. And But the testing so, term has two Judith? different words for A little it. bit, yeah. Anyway, if Great, anybody thanks. wants it, I could probably do a test, I mean, at least a... Oh, you mean uh, from the Platonic PLT. text, for example, from the dialogues? What? Never mind. No, I was talking... Pierre said that uh, I was just saying that these terms, definition, demonstration, division, and analysis, plus the term testing, it might be useful to have a TLG search on them and see what they pull up in terms of Proclus's commentary. Sure. Okay. Sure. sure. The ideal. And also Plato's dialogue. <coughs> I was thinking of the Philebus and the Phaedrus as being two where he talks about these words. Yeah, you'd have to run them down. Because he mentions them but doesn't describe it. It's <laughs> like an afterthought. Oh, check the paper. Yeah. Yeah. Check the Republic. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, but the first testing word is... It's a nice puzzle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he does talk about testing in terms of the theatinas. Yeah. That's what he's going to do. Yeah. To unfold their unified powers? Is that the... I'm looking at the Balboa. Yeah, well, it's in 982, oh, which shit. is... Yep. Okay. So it is... It is... Uh, do not... Do not... Wow. Nice. Still okay? Bummer. Oh, I didn't break it. It's fine. <laughs> Now, there are a couple of nice quotes in there, you'll find it, where he does talk about ideas as experience, it's not, not as, as no. if it were a concept which is not a no, no, I And that's very helpful, but uh, that's just a thought that's dropped in the middle of the discussion on these four. Oh, that's cool. Which, Is there anyone who does want such a list? Otherwise, I'm not going to bother. Yes. Definitely One, two, three, four. Maybe here. Yes? A copy? Okay. Fine. I don't think he's going to refuse. Okay, <laughs> man, I'm going to give you one anyway. So there. I... You want to finish that? No. But it's nice that, it's nice that, you know, we're doing this study. I guess it came out of com the commentary that we got into the hippiest major. Yes. <clears throat> but it's like we're doing both of them now. It's yeah. pretty nice. Yeah. Kind of, <laughs> you will need a Juan Balboa's translation in order to make use of such a list. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Please. it's up on the yeah, archive. About him. So or, or a copy of the Greek, right? Yeah, yeah okay. I have a copy, so does Jan. So. I think I do too. Pierre, when he, the rest of you guys. Are we saying that if these are states of mind, is he is he saying that when he goes through Hippias or Theotetus or, or Pro Protagoras? What are you referring to 
What are states of mind? No, that's good. That's good. That, like, um, what is she talking about? He's looking at these individuals' states of mind in respect to these ideas. Which states of mind? Well, if they're following the logos, or if they have a certain okay, well, and the numbers are there. Anyway. Understanding of beauty or wisdom. So, so experiences of beauty, wisdom with the logos. Like, huh? So states of mind of experiencing beauty, wisdom with the logos. I was just trying to make a connection between the examples you gave. Yes. I'll do that. Or Hippias' state, oh, you mean Hippias' state of mind, for example, or Socrates? Well, uh, yeah, by the way he presents the logos, or, or the, the way he presents his reasoning. He, uh, well, you've already said that, so what's my question? Uh, you just started it off with one point and then kind of lost it. Well, I think you've already said it. it. What? I think you've already said it. Okay. Like you've yeah, had. I'll be free of it. The logos and the justice, like in the in these different dialogues, he's seeing. He, it's almost like he's di he, he, he's testing them, but at the same time he's diagnosing them. Yeah. Sure. By how they're using the logos, how they relate to these ideas. Without a doubt. Um. Is there some benefit? Is there some benefit that he describes? for himself in doing that? Is there, in pursuing that kind of logos with these individuals, or that kind of discussion with these individuals? Is there, because he's already seen, or is it strictly benefiting them, if they, whether they accept it or not? Or there's no benefit, I don't know what benefit there is well, I guess there is, and that if they can continue in the dialogue, that's some step. Some people can't even do that. But, well, you, but I, like, why is it that... You threw out your own question. <laughs> yeah, like, why is it that Socrates is talking to Protagoras? Oh, oh, look, look, look at see. Oh, I did that. You know, oh, did you? I missed it. That's, okay. that's a, good, it's a good question, but if his goal is to make sense of the dialectic. Oh, okay, that's Proclus, right, I'm sorry, I, I no, changed the subject. We're talking about Plato. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. If his goal okay. is to, to give demonstrations of the dialectic, then you can use Proclus's analysis to help us understand what Socrates is doing in Plato's dialogues. Mm. Interesting. Then, you're not discovering what he is gaining from it personally, yeah. because he's going to use it to make sense of the logo. He's really, he only has the goal of making sense of the logos. To him, the logos is absolutely essential to any, any discussion, and in the nature of reality. So his goal is to show that. Okay. Now you can ask, what benefit comes to him who has done that? Well. That's his no. goal is to make clear the dialectic ah, and the and the role of the logos in terms of these four categories. So it's not really discussed by that. It, yeah, I see it. Sometimes. Yeah, like you could ask the same question in, in terms of the republic. Right? Like, why did he do that? Well, what would you say? It's all addressed to our friend. Glaucon. Well, he's taking Glaucon through a journey. Now you're asking, what benefit? Like, does he get any coupon that he can use in the marketplace? Or, <laughs> or not? Not Glaucon as much as someone like, if I were to go through a dialogue myself, what benefit? I'm not following. You. Well, that's okay. <laughs> it's just you're just wondering if philosophy is beneficial, huh? No. Oh, mm -hmm. just trying to help. Well, yeah, like it, it's like a daily activity. It'd be like 
I just see the way I see it is the way the republic was laid out. You do it one day, and then the next day you recall it. So there's a constant dwell, not dwelling, but well, maybe dwelling um, exercise practice of the logos in as many ways as possible. Oh, well, I'd call that a good answer. <coughs> okay. You know, uh, here, so just in that Hippias part again, it says, for the former, Hippias is after all a dialogue of testing and dialogue dialectical procedures are proper to those who concern themselves with forms in souls that is testings and refutations and definitions and demonstrations and divisions then there's a long hyphen synthetic and analytic procedures there is how he ends. so synthetic and analytic procedures he says hey that's what definitions demonstrations and divisions do or apparently yeah, yeah. But how do you see the word re uh, refutation? Refutation, yeah, yeah. El Elenchus. Take a look at it again. Oh, when someone is disabused of the falseness of, an, of a false belief, right? Yeah, but you see, one of the functions of, for him is uh, a purgative, mm -hmm. which is a dialectic in the realm of testing. Right. So uh, what I, the reason why I reread this, and I want to say... by the way, it often fails, but go Okay. Ahead. Is that um, apparently we can take the hippiest major and see all of these in it. Mm -hmm. uh, no. No? Hmm. Why not? I mean, th this is, it, that seems to me what he's saying here. Well, those are dialectical procedures. Well, because it's such a, the, the range, <coughs> the range of, uh, see, if you, <coughs> what if the goal is so to be sick. able to represent, using this as an example, He only reveals what he really thinks. Socrates really reveals what he thinks in one paragraph. And the rest of it is our friend uh, Hippias floundering around and trying to save his ego again and again in a variety of ways and has to subject himself to humiliating defeat again and again. It doesn't raise itself to the level of, of going up and seeing the relationship between the so-called states of mind or ideas towards a final intuitive grasp of the nature of reality or what's beyond it. So no, I, I don't think we're going to find these four classifications in the Hippias. Well, so I guess I see three separate things here. One is that you understand how the four what they are, how they could be defined, right. how they relate to each other, right. keep that in one, one category. You say Proclus doesn't do that, right? No, I say uh, if he does do it, it's going to take some careful reading to do it. Right, okay. Right? And, and then on the other hand, we're saying, like the ox herding pictures, mm -hmm. how the various ideas, those included, and the forms in the soul or out well, of the soul. Those are forms. You're saying those are forms, too. Yeah, oxygen pictures are forms. Oh, no, 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 I got you. Yeah, how that leads to ultimate reality. That's another yeah. thing. And yeah. then whether or not definition, demonstration, division, and analysis are being used in the hippias. Right. Such that we could use the hippias. This is my proposition. You could use the hippias, and I haven't read it all the way through almost like David but uh, in a while, but... You could use the hippies to make our own definitions of each and their relationships so that we could provide a clarity to this topic that Proclus doesn't, if he doesn't. Yeah, I would say you may be able to do that with the Phaedrus, but not the Hippias. Hmm, okay. Because his vision is engulfs such a broad expanse that includes the most higher concepts and okay. ideas. Whereas Hippias is struggling even to get to the idea of what is beauty, which he never 
never agrees to and cannot bring it out of his own soul so that it is a vivid idea of some experience. I have a question, which is, um, you, you had a set of several um, activities to do with the um, Oxfording pictures, right, which you wrote underneath them, right, see each in terms of itself, right, um, see that its position is justified, that they exist in the soul and in reality, that they form a hierarchy. You did mention there might be some more, and I'd like to see those if this is a good time, also. but also, what? But also, I have a question as to, um, once, w let's say we've done that, um, will that provide a model of a different way of understanding definition, division, analysis? Or are we to then yes. try to, oh. Yes, even though those words may not define the way in which they function right. for him and, the, and his work, yeah. For Proclus, yeah. but we might find um, an interesting examples yeah. in those activities that yeah. you've suggested. Yeah. Okay. So how, how they were connected. Oh yeah. Earlier you said, Pierre, that you could go further with what you had said. No, out. I didn't. Yes, you yes. did. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's you what did. you meant by the more, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> the more. Uh, <laughs> do you remember? See, at all, it, uh, the reason I'm, I'm uh, reluctant to do it uh, is because um, it's worthwhile doing first so we can all share it. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, uh, it, does, it does presuppose the relationship between the two, between what two? The Oxfording pictures and a parallel system of Platonic ideas structured in the same way, defined in the same way, so that there is a correspondence between the two. That's what it assumes. Which we, that would be a third thing on the blackboard then, yeah. right? You have Proclesis four, you have the ox herding and the activities, and then you're having a system of platonic ideas. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, see, um, Plato does not arrange them this way. does not arrange the ideas this way? That's something we would have to do. He doesn't do it. Like in all of this, would you not agree in a discussion where you're really trying to understand these four major ideas, you would like a couple of examples. Okay. There isn't yeah. mm -hmm. Examples of what? Each one of the four categories. But, 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 but. There isn't in Plato? No, no, no. no, no. In, in Proclus, Proclus does not advance examples so that we can set the examples next to each one of these so-called definitions, okay. or call them understandings of these four terms. Okay. So are you saying <laughs> we might arrive at a set of Oxfording pictures that would, the hierarchy would be, and the content would be the Platonic ideas? Yeah. Cool. I like that so much. Well, I could pass it around, but I did a oh, philosophical understanding of the Oxfording pictures. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some of you have it. I, I, I don't know. So I'll pass it on the yeah. Please. Do you want me to? I have a copy. Yeah, good. Okay, but do you, where do you want it to go? To the whole MS or to the this group, like yeah. the Parmenides? Sure. Which one? So you wanted to go out to the whole NS? Everybody here, first of all. No, yeah. that's <laughs> all right. First of all, yeah. <laughs> I already have it. Any way that you do it, so long as you pass it on to at least these people, yes. Well, that's easy enough. But it's no trouble in giving it to everyone. I, I, yeah, I think the only one I'd have to add would be Ingmar. Everybody else is on the... Well, Say it. I think I'm well, on the I think it's really beautiful how you do it. Did you start on your permission? Nope. What's he I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten several emails. <laughs> That's beautiful about what you did. I, I think it would be a lovely little so pamphlet or something to publish. Well, part of it was that you couldn't uh, attend because I don't have teaching. time to publish. I, I know. think that was why. Oh yeah, I like to be kept in the loop. Okay, but yeah. Then you have my email. It's beautiful. Hmm.
Which one is it? Oh, I can write it down. Pierre, you have oh, a uh, published and unpublished papers of Pierre. I know I have one that Yahoo's one recent, and I will take the one, and I know the one you're talking about. Are you ever intending on publishing that paper? The philosophical Octarity? We just talked about the... I don't know. I don't think of those categories. This is a major... Oh, you've published things before, Pierre. No, go ahead. Do it. All the unpublished works will publish. Um, See, someday. Uh, the reason I was holding it back is because I asked mm. Brad mm -hmm. to take the challenge of drawing pictures for them. Yeah. And, yep. Uh, yep. He's still mulling, mulling and trying. He's got a couple that are very nice, but. Why did it depend on Brad's uh, paintings? Were you going to uh, put that them would make it publishable, and publishable, and, and to the public? Right did you ever publish your publish Socrates and Jesus dialogue? You know what? I just got on the email say, with this guy who see, we agreed that we would. Yeah. Uh, see, I'm having so much trouble. See, when I did. Uh, Perfect example. When I did Alcibiades, I sent it to the old journal. So they sent me a letter and they said it has so disrupted the board <laughs> that they they have no other alternative than to send it to Horizon magazine. Oh, now, Horizon goodness. in those days was the beautiful book artwork. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful magazine, probably the best music. Hardbound magazine. Nine months later they sent me a letter and they said, we have had so much trouble with this dialogue of Pierre's that we're sending it back to the Yale Journal and urging them to publish it and we will be very pleased to put a copy of it on our shelves. Mm -hmm. But it has caused, again, so much discord. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the one that generated the comment if Pierre Grimes is right. Th that isn't the dialogue that Alcibiades. Was that the Theto paper? No, I know the name he's talking about. I'm not sure if it connects to the comment. That's the oh, question. Oh, philosophical midwifery. Okay, when I did it, I have a, a friend that I went to college with, who later became one of the great publishers, and we had a long, fun history at St. John's, and uh, I gave it to him, and he said, "I'm cleaning my desk, everything off, and I'm going really to." only do that for the next six months. I really wanted to get into it. We had to talk about it. Never mind. Seven months passed, eight months passed, nine months passed. So I thought maybe I'd ask about it. Bring because, him up. You know, <coughs> couldn't get to him. Secretary said he's not going to answer any calls. There's, oh my God. There's a chair over here. No call from Grimes, Thanks. huh? <laughs> no calls from Grimes. Well, when when did you get that comment? If Pierre Grimes is right, two thousand years of scholarship is wrong. When did you yeah. get that one? Yes. Um, that was philosophical midwifery. Oh, I had that on a piece of paper. Um, I thought Gina's thinking it's philosophical midwifery, but I think it no, okay. might have been. Uh, I I don't. That's okay. It's really cool. But uh, I, I know a friend of mine was supposed to do artwork for the cover for Socrates and Jesus. So I just was curious if, if you ever got that published and if he did the cover. No, no, to finish the story. Yeah. So he's had it. Said we formed a, a press. So now I can get my own stuff out and I don't have to go through this yeah. business. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we did. That was a year ago. Looks like your uh, Do you guys have that book? So he's he's he a very a fine book. gentleman. Very good classic background. The first Catholic edition. scholarship went through the Catholic colleges, universities. So he said, um, I'm reading your paper. Um, it's causing me to reread all of the works you've mentioned. It's really upsetting. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Good. Can you get now, it out? <laughs> many months have gone by, so I sent him an email. 
a week ago <laughs> or five days ago, oh, I saying, see. excuse me, but you know, we have this idea of getting the thing out. You know, you only have it <laughs> a year, you know. I mean, rather unusual. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I promise I'll get it out, out next week. Okay. So, you're still means, waiting. So the yeah. Checks, the, checks, <laughs> the checks in the mail. The checks in the mail. So, I hope I get it. If I do, then it should go. But yeah. Jesus what, is there to some you. is there some editing issue? Like no, no, I no. have to read these other works before I can publish your work it's because I got to make sure you're right or no, what? No, it's causing him so much, so much concern. Personal turmoil, <laughs> anxiety, whatever you want to call it. You know. Okay, but whatever his anxiety is, he's supposed to publish things, right? Yes, that's, that's, I had to get him back into the idea of what he is, you know. <laughs> that was a good reminder. What our agreement was and yeah. what he's supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, publishing on Lulu or something of that sort is not a good idea? I don't know. If I knew that, I'd be better off. Mm. I don't know, that's where a lot, some, some of the people are... Yeah, well, I don't know. Or is it as wide or professional? Yeah, matter of, yeah, okay. May not be as professionally accepted. The question is, who do you want to reach? Mm -hmm. Well, who is the, who's, who's, the best who's, who's this guy? Who's the what, what's the uh, firm? Uh, what? what do you who, mean? What, what who, is his employment? Yeah, who's the who's the organization that's going to be producing Socrates and Jesus? Well. Uh, the, uh, I have to come up with the name of the press, and then she came up with a good. Uh, oh, okay. Name you guys are inventing a. Uh, yeah. Press. A, yeah. And I'll tell you after. Publishing company. Yeah. I'll hmm. Tell you later. That's right. That's what you said. Because you haven't finished. What? Because you tell us later because. Well, you haven't because decided. It involves someone else who's ah. been using a certain term, and, ah. I, and I would be latching on to it. Oh. Sure. I'm sure, I get the okay from that person. By the way, the. Um, MailChimp app, app is now changing to where they want a logo at the top of our, instead of a picture. We can use a picture, it's not that we can't, but they're at, but now they have, a, in that space, it says logo, and then over here it says replace, which is what I've been doing so far. But if you had a logo you wanted to use for our emails as the Noetic Society, either for some of them or all of them, you could just send it to me. I think it has to be a JPEG for them. No. Can't be a ping or a, this or that. So if you have an idea for a logo, you could send it to me, realizing that likely um, it's either this this kind of a format or it needs to be, well, you can see the problem. If you have a really vertical one, it's going to squish your text, right? Yeah. So, if you have an idea, remember we used to have that wonderful one that you passed out a copy of, of the di of the two double-sided diamond shape kind of, or uh, mm. crystal, that yeah. was really cool, with the planes of yeah. illness, health, well-being, yeah. things. Uh, really cool. yeah, what yeah. else would work? The cube? Hmm? The cube. The cube. <coughs> hmm. You mean just like one aspect of the cube? Yeah, maybe it's like, like a... Yeah. I don't know. What I don't know either. The cube. The cube. Oh, that's another one. Yeah. Well, I, mm, I'd have to have a graphic of it. Maybe I could... Ju I don't know. There's that guy who just did it. The yeah. Cube. He did, though. He did it this way, right? Anyhow. Anyway, anyway cross-shaped. Pierre. I don't know if I could cross I have a, I'm check. continuing that questioning that if, since the Fido was the last logos in that sense of, part of Socrates and he's saying I am looking forward if there is that possibility of continuing such dialogues once he dies so I'm thinking that the part well I was thinking on two levels one is that he's practicing the logos even up to his death because he's talking to these individuals about the ideas of, of death 
and at the same time he is talking about what it means to pursue the Logos and its practice in terms of death. So I'm thinking, well, don't know for sure, but I just see that, well, the idea of the Logos in different states of mind, could that be maybe a somewhere in the stages, Oxerding stages, but going back to the original question of whether it's a definition, demonstration, division, and analysis, whether that could be maybe uh, a dialogue where such distinctions could be made of definition, demonstration, division. I'm just raising that. I, I would have to do that, but I'm just one that would be... I, just thought I don't know if you got the question. Was that was such a long roundabout way of expressing. Yeah, yeah. What was the question? <coughs> I went through some changes. <laughs> yeah. But to answer the first part. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The second part is left um, open. That's okay. Maybe. See. That's possible. You raised whether or not at the end of the Phaedo, Socrates is going up to heaven and is going to be continuing his dialogue. Would you not say you find it curious <laughs> that I did a dialogue called Socrates in Heaven? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And well, it's going around to visit? The various... Uh, yeah. Well, that would be a continuation. Oh, oh, oh. So and the I end of that, uh, Socrates, I think, is going to go take a look at the talk to the Buddha. That's right. That's very cool. That's right. Yeah. How about Achilles? Oh, two of beers on him. <laughs> no one understands the color. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. If you apply the principles of, of uh, textual analysis of uh, Jesus and apply it to Achilles, there's no difficulty in what we'd come to. Huh. Why is that? Christ was a coward. Commonness and one, he exceeds Jesus on many levels. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> Achilles, does he not have an enlightenment experience? Mm. Standing on the mount, uh, the right. And he shines in such a way that he's being seen by many over a great distance. Mm. Is that doing one up on Jesus on the Transfiguration in chapter 9 of Mark? Yep. And does he not then go beyond that and give a roar? That in terms of Buddhist literature, some of the great yogis or yogis come out with such a, Shout. shout, what do they call it? Yeah. Shout. Yeah, they had a shouting they, they shouting they tradition. Shout that is heard yeah. five miles away. I think that came in with... Shout. You can put all of that. Lin Chi. And Jesus, Jesus is on the cross whispering. <laughs> Why has God forsaken me? Yes. Okay. A whimper. Yeah. A wine this addiction. Fun Saturday, Pierre. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. A good task? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Achilles, a dialogue between Achilles and Jesus would be a good one. Socrates can moderate that. <laughs> that would be a good one. Now they're in heaven. So. Yeah, well, it can take them all on. Mm. Go back to Parmenides and ask him all about these translations that have gone on. and <coughs> Can he help us out? <laughs> no, but... David, wouldn't you agree if she has the idea she ought to do it? Yeah. No, that's how it, we play here. <laughs> you think yeah. that would be fair? Go Gina. <laughs> yeah, oh no, and, and fair. Yeah. She's uh, got Harvard the vision. Oh, yeah. Uh, For sure. But Belinda? Yeah, oh, okay. See, it looks like your friends are all agreeing that you should go ahead. <coughs> yeah. okay. Well, I'll follow you. <laughs> <laughs> 
or I won't. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh oh. Mm. Well, it's good she's not sure. Yeah. Of course she's not. She hasn't done it. Yeah. I haven't. She's done waiting it. for you. You've yeah. already done it. Yeah. It's your turn. Yeah. Uh huh. Sure. That's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I just love this though. This morning about the logos and the states of mind. It's like raising all the. It's like raising philosophical midwifery a different level, but also in what Proclus talks about philosophical midwifery with Socrates. He talks about a kind of philosophical midwifery and in the Theotetus addressing the beliefs. And it's just like this guy who is in the 10th Oxherding picture coming in, called Socrates or Pierre, and coming into town and using the logos to help each of us go to in through all those different stages or at least get to some of those stages. Yeah, but but this problem is nice because it I mean, oh, I'm we got somewhere else. We got to we got to do this, right? We got to do this. Do what? Oh, we, you mean this activity. If, there's, if it's significant that demonstration is different than division, if oh, we yeah don't understand that, then we're not doing philosophy. Right? But see, uh, <coughs> see without, Proclus, or Proclus. without Proclus, we couldn't do it. He's <coughs> the one who opens up the dialectic. Uh -huh. He does what Socrates, or what Parmenides tells Socrates to do, mm -hmm. which is you have to master what Zeno has been doing, and he gives that great description of what Zeno is all about. Proclus takes that and he opens it up, and that becomes the commentary. And Book Five exhibits it. it takes oh, each, I see. Takes yeah. each of the ideas suggested in that Zeno's treatment, and yeah. he uh, unfolds it, talks about it. See, we could ask then, how does the seventh letter fit? Oh yes. Into this. Yes. Why could we what do you see? Yeah. yeah. Well, in the seventh letter, he's he's got the five categories. Yeah. Oh. That he says, you know, this is what you need to do for that spark to go off in your soul for you to get yeah. the point. See, mm -hmm. that's what each of these ideas is. That is something. It, it, in essence, it can't be defined in the normal way of talking about a definition because they don't have parts. And if they don't have parts, or it's not amenable to what we would call a definition. And therefore, there has to be a higher concept to the definition. If but it's the logos. Ideas that are different, yes, none of them have any parts, so they can't be distinguished in respect to within themselves. So therefore, you have to have a different idea of definition and demonstration. It, it comes down to uh, whether or not, like, our description of justice is a state of mind or not. Mm -hmm. Right? And is it? I think so. No, I, yes. Could you talk about it? Nope. But, but um, I can say it's a state of mind. to talk about it. Get, get, next time we meet, she should talk about whether or not she can represent the idea of justice as a state of mind and drawing upon mm -hmm. book four of the Plato's Republic. Should she yes. not? She's, 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 yeah. 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 I can read it. it? Can, yeah. Oh, I can okay, read it. Yeah. <laughs> I can read it, but I'd like to demonstrate it every okay. day. But that's a but but in book four that's a definition. Yeah. Of justice. Yep. See? And it won't be in, it can't be in terms of internal to itself. It can't be in terms of internal because to itself. It doesn't have parts. Mm. What, do, what doesn't have parts? Justice. The idea of justice. If it's a state of mind, it doesn't have parts. Oh. But therefore it can't be a definite, or it's a different no, idea then, of definition. Then if you want to define it, you need a different idea of definition. Okay. Yeah. Which is what is going on here. Okay, so uh, justice doesn't have parts, but the soul does, right? And his definition applies to the parts of the soul. 
That's wrong. Therefore, it's not an idea. Justice is not an idea. No, no. Soul. Okay. It, oh, that, gotcha. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Since it's that through which something functions, and it functions through four categories and has various aspects, and you can define them. Ideas. Yes. Okay. okay. So is this is this um, really an attempt to categorize the way that the logos functions, or the way that yes. we use the logos? Yes. That's the key. Categorize the role of the logos. The function of the logos. That's central. Right. right. That is to say, is there any place for rationality in the universe? Plato is saying, hey, it's primary. Mm -hmm. Both in the soul of man as well as in the nature of reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, what did you do today? Was it a d demonstration? <laughs> <laughs> Poor. <laughs> Or division? Or no? Yes, sure. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Hmm. I'd love to see the Greek. This is all in Greek? Yeah. No, it's in Serbian. <laughs> hey, you're oh, lucky. Uh, <laughs> you got good a luck with, Good luck with Serbian. Barbara has this a book on it. Greek. Oh, so my God. I, I don't. don't. <laughs> How do you Julie, Julie, there's also she, the Balboa translation the archive of this. With, with the Greek. Yeah. Barbara and Greek? Regina and Balboa yeah, all have the Greek, Greek, if you want it yeah, separately. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, somebody translated into the Greek a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> seems so big. Wiseacre. <laughs> Can you buy it in the Greek? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I just, I'm a little out can of it. Can you get a lobe in the Greek? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. But you can get boudet. Hey. For it's a small boudet. Boudet. We have for a small is it? I can get it for you. Is it on your hand? Can you grab it? Thing? Give her the cup. Book yeah. box. Yeah. And the Greek. I got it. Okay. Oh. For a small fee. All right, what's the fee? Well, how much do you have? <laughs> um, I'll take it. A trifle more than you. Than oh. Small. <laughs> <laughs> Gina's going to pull her out. You can get the publishing material information if you want to see if you can buy it online or something. They might even have a way of buying those Maybe. new reprints when it's not being published. You know, you can sometimes get someone will do a reprint for you. For I can also go to the library. You see, I oh, that's true. They have that's true. Like Are you that. familiar with that library? But I thought you said I buy am. It. Good, yeah. good, good. So, oh well. Pretty picked over in the Greek section. Mm. Okay, guys, yeah. back to the back drawing the, uh, board. Picked over and, and uh, jacked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not replaced. Hmm. You should probably announce that you're going to Arizona, so you can have a week to work. I wish I. Oh, you don't have to go. No. You just have to announce it. Yeah. But then you'd have still the problems that are keeping you here, right? Right. right. Besides, we can take advantage of the fact that you're here by having Parmenides classes with you. That's why I hesitate yes. to put forward that All right. idea. And we have a couple of good tasks. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Deputy, yep. So either... I don't know about tomorrow afternoon. Do you have any time? Or Monday? Sure. Well, I can't tell you until... Ah. But yes, in principle. In principle. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> Gina! <laughs> She's probably still looking at it. Because you did say buy it at one point, which is why I said, why don't you get her the information? Let me see, searching, searching. I also have it at home. If you decide you want that publishing info, send me an email. I can find it. Okay. No problem.
How's their logos, Pierre? <laughs> Oh, I can't find it right now. That's okay. She, she's going to find go to the go to UCI yeah. library and find it. She hopes. If not that, by inner okay. library. I, I, don't know what I, I saw it the other yeah, night, which is how I knew you had it. One of the days we had Parmenides. Yeah, like that's probably a couple I, weeks ago. I thought I had it over there. Let's hope nobody booknapped it from you, but I don't think so. It'd have to be me or David. We have You hear them all the time? <laughs> all the time. I have all, I have a, a zoo. They like the sun, huh? A goo, a zoo. Oh. I have cats around my house. Everybody loves their cats, but they ate all my birds. <gasps> Look at that wow. beautiful big hey, yellow bird. They're, they damage the whole, you know. What? He's the one birds. that's talking. Oh, yeah. cats are really I like how you've got the two monarchs they're, and the two yellow. To the good thing is. They're mating and stuff right now. And they're really a plague. People good, good job. Well, people well, count, good. count on birds and other animals. On I also like what you did with all of wealth. I had about 10,000 crickets. Yeah. Actually, crickets. And the cats had their birds in one. Dream. Got rid of every one of the crickets. I would like to have that in our place. But the cats in front of me, the cats in back of me. This is just a practical.